Hey guys, it's Hannah and this is Bookworms Talk. And today I'm going to talk about Love and Misadventure by Lang Lee. This is a collection of poems, so this book talk is going to be a little bit different. What I'm first going to do is give you a list consisting of my favorite poems within the book, and then I'm going to pick a couple that I'm just going to read. Sea of Strangers, His Word, A Stranger, A Timeline, Rogue Planets, A Question, Letting Him Go, The Things We Hide, Love Lost, A Small Consolation, Sad Songs, Soulmates, All or Nothing, Souls, The Fear of Losing You, Angels, Love Letters, and Canyons. So I'm going to read A Stranger first. A Stranger. There is a love I reminisce, like a seed I've never sown, of lips that I am yet to kiss, and eyes not met my own. Hands that wrap around my wrists, and arms that feel like home, I wonder how it is I miss the things I've never known. A Question. It is a question I had worn on my lips for days, like a loose thread of my favorite sweater I couldn't resist pulling, despite knowing it could all unravel around me. Do you love me? I ask. In your hesitation, I found my answer. Letting him go. There is a particular kind of suffering to be experienced when you love something greater than yourself, a tender sacrifice. Like the pained silence felt in the long song of a mermaid, or the bent and broken feet of a dancing ballerina. It is in every considered step I am taking in the opposite direction of you. The things we hide. And so I have put away the photographs, every trace of you I know. The things that seem to matter less are the ones we put on show. Love lost. There is one who you belong to, whose love there is no song for. And though you know it's wrongful, there was someone else you long for. Your heart was once a vessel, it was filled up to the brim, until the day he left you. Now everything sings of him, of the two who came to love you, to one your heart you gave. He lives in stars above you, in the love who came and stayed. A small consolation. Everything that we once were is now a sad and lonely verse. When once I had so much to say, I am now prophet of words. Sometimes it is the order of things to make them seem much worse. It's not as if you would have stayed if I hadn't left you first. This is one of my personal favorites, soulmates. I don't know how you are so familiar to me or why it feels less like I'm getting to know you and more as though I'm remembering who you are. How every smile, every whisper brings me closer to the impossible conclusion that I have known you before. I have loved you before in another time, a different place, some other existence, all or nothing. If you love me for what you see, only your eyes would be in love with me. If you love me for what you've heard, then you would love me for my words. If you love my heart and mind, then you would love me for all that I'm. But if you don't love my every flaw, then you mustn't love me, not at all. This is another one of my personal favorites. Souls. When two souls fall in love, there is nothing else but the yearning to be close to each other. The presence is felt through a hand held, a voice heard, or a smile seen. Souls do not have calendars or clocks, nor do they understand the notion of time or distance. They only know it feels right to be with one another. This is the reason why you miss someone so much when they are not there, even if they are only in the very next room. Your soul only feels their absence. It doesn't realize this separation is temporary. Can I ask you something? Anything. Why is it every time we say goodnight, it feels like goodbye? The fear of losing you. Without meaning to, he's disarmed me with kisses that soothe and alarm me, and arms that terrify and calm me. Angels. It happens like this. One day you meet someone, and for some inexplicable reason, you feel more connected to this stranger than to anyone else, closer to them than your closest family. Perhaps because this person carries an angel within them, one sent to you for some higher purpose, to teach you an important lesson or to keep you safe during a perilous time. What you must do is trust in them, even if they come hand in hand with pain or suffering. The reason for their presence will become clear in due time. Though here is a word of warning, you may grow to love this person, but remember they are not yours to keep. Their purpose isn't to save you, but to show you how to save yourself. And once this is fulfilled, the halo lifts and the angel leaves their body as the person exits your life. They will be a stranger to you once more. It's so dark now. I can't see any light around me. That's because the light is coming from you. You can't see it, but everyone else can. Love letters. Every letter that she types, every keystroke that she strikes, to spell your name again and again, 
is all she ever wants to write. I think this may be one of, if not my favorite, of the entire book of poems. It's called Canyons. Rarely do the words I love you precede a question mark, but it is a question nonetheless, and your answer to mine was the incarnation of a wish, the fulfillment of a promise. Somewhere between falling in and out of love, the question spilled from our lips over and over, readily answered with greedy hands and ravenous mouths. It was cautiously whispered on rooftops as we looked down on terrifying heights and cried out under creased white sheets and breathless admissions. Towards goodbye, I asked the question, and your reply was a thoughtless echo as I stood, feeling as though I was shouting at meaningless words into the empty canyon, just to hear them repeated back. I love you, he says for the first time. I turn my body to face his. Say it again. He says it over and over, pulling me beneath him. I really love this book of poems. I think that the sad ones speak to me more, but maybe it's because I find more meaning in them. But there was plenty of little teasy things about brushing teeth and roller coasters and things like that. But I really did like this. I'm a sucker for poetry. I've really been into that lately, especially with slam poems. I thought this is just the perfect time to read it, and I'm so glad that I did. And I hope that you guys like this book talk. It's a little different than what I'm used to doing. But if you have any suggestions for next time when I review eventually Oh Sleeper by Marnie Schoenberg the third, if you know, just other poem books that I'll review, if you have any suggestions, leave that down there in the comments and I will see you guys later next time on Bookworms Talk. Bye. For some inexplicable <laughs> What is that word? It's a Satan word, inexplicable.